a world where travel can be a hectic journey, one airport decided to change the game. Join us as we take you behind the scenes of a groundbreaking program that transformed an ordinary airport into a vibrant cultural hub. We set out to put a little bit of fun back into flying and make people want to go to the airport and have a pleasant experience. Discover the impact of music on travelers' lives, the viral moments, and the heartwarming stories that emerged. Experience the joy, the music, and the sense of community that Plenty Piano and JWA Life brought to the airport. Join us on this musical journey through the heart of the airport. Piano and Airport, where keys and culture unite. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Piano and series by Avia Learn. In this quarter, we have shifted our topic to Piano and Culture. This episode is Piano and Airport. I found interesting programs in the airport that relates to piano and music. I feel very honored to be able to invite and interview the previous airport director in the John Wayne Airport. And now he's a transportation development in,、uh, director in Aurora, Aurora Engineer. His name is Barry Rodinella. Welcome to the podcast. How are you today? I'm well, Eileen, and thank you so much for taking the time to reach out to me. It's、uh, nice to hear from you. All right. So, well, we learned like after I searched online, and then I found I tried to find some like interesting piano program or interesting like program involved with piano in different places that involved with our human culture. So I'm thinking about、uh, in the airport, in the museum, in the library, in the school, in the hospital. And I found out there's actually a ton of the programs, and they everybody's trying to、um, help to share their love for music、um, throughout like our life. And I'm just got curious about like how you guys come up with the idea. I know like some there's some like、um, initial thoughts I I saw on the news, like it's inspired from、um, and some artist project. But I just want to see what's the like a very true insight. Yeah, and just have a very overview of the program I found on the airport. It's called Plenty Piano, and there's another program and involved with the live performance. It's called、um, J、uh, JWA Live Program. Yeah, all of them like inviting travelers, tra- travelers from around the world to just pause and play and connect through、uh, the universal language of music. So my first question, finally, my first question for you is: How did you get involved with、um, playing piano at the airport? Well, it was part of a, a broader music program, as you mentioned. We had JWA Live. Prior to that, we had high school choirs and、uh, bands come out at, at holiday times to do Christmas music and things like that,、um, and that was all part of a broader program to in- enhance the guest experience. When I got to John Wayne Airport in 2015,、um, we、uh, we had a lot of good things going on, but、uh, we weren't as good as we could have been、uh, in enhancing the guest experience. I came to the airport with three goals: let's be safe and secure, let's be good neighbors, and let's provide a superior guest experience. So we went to work right away. You may not know this, but there is、uh, the JD Power organization does a North American Airport Guest Satisfaction Survey every year, and prior to my arrival, we had never cracked the top fifteen of that. Within the first year, where we started doing things like、um, the music program, we jumped to number eight after one year, and then the next two years, we were the number one airport, large airport in all of North America.、Um, Like I said, for two years, and we've never dropped out of the top four since then, and that's in large part due to our efforts with with enhancing the guest experience. And music plays a big part in that.、Uh, we started, as I said, with the high school programs coming out, and I saw how it、um, just livened the place up. It made it feel comfortable and joyous and warm. And I thought we should do more. We should do this all year round. And so we experimented with、uh, the JWA Live program. We just had two artists, and they were probably only performing once a month. 
But as I'd walk through the terminal, I could see the difference in people's body language, in their facial expression, you know, smiles yeah, would come wow, over. Yeah, that sounds there. really good. Keep going, sorry. Yeah. No, no, no problem. So it was just fun and, and exciting to see so that we added a few more artists and then a lot more artists. And one of our team members, a woman by the name of Deanne Thompson, um, had heard about a, a similar program to Play Me Piano somewhere else in the country, and I don't recall where. So we looked into it and we thought, boy, this would be perfect for us. So we went out, we bought a piano, very nice piano, and we modeled our program after the other one and just encouraged people to play. And that's that's kind of how it all came to be. Wow, that sounds really, really good. I don't know, I feel like, because I always like to see when I play and then the people is actually just listen to you. And then you, like you mentioned, like, you actually, like they like brighten up their day and also really helps the community to be more like, you know, have a very welcoming and friendly vibe in the airport. And then the, the thing you mentioned about the, the ranking thing, it sounds really good. Yeah, after you do all of the effort. And I think the project you mentioned is Play Me, I'm Yours. Because I also, yeah, yeah, Play Me, I'm Yours is the, I think it's from a British uh, artist and his name is forgot <laughs> Jerem, i think yeah yeah so because i also reached out to him and see if he he wants to like um collaborate a little bit so <laughs> that's why i heard of it and then um yeah so that was a really, really good story i really like like it's very exciting to hear um the back the background story of the project um do you have any like is that related to any of your personal experiences or like what was the well, I guess the ranking thing also that like, you think about like to help the airport to be more uh, friendly community uh, is one of the motivations. But do you have any like personal experience? Like, uh, do you like re do you love music <laughs> or like, yeah. You, you know, I do. Um, and, and like everybody, music has been a big part of my life, right? You look uh -huh. back at the earliest recorded history and People were using song to express emotions of joy and sorrow and victory, um, you know, as far back as thousands of years ago. So it is deeply ingrained in our DNA um, that music makes life better, right? Yeah. Um, and, you know, I, I always think flying is fun, but with all the things we do now, it's kind of wrung all the fun out of it. You know, you, you got to find a parking spot and then you got to go through security and lines and, uh, and all of this. And so we set out to try to put a little bit of that fun back into flying and, and make people want to go to the airport and have a, a pleasant experience. So that's kind of what we were searching for. Let me remind me, remind me of one story I had before is like, I had to, uh, it was a trans, I need to transfer to the other flight and then uh, during, I only have like, wait, my first flight got delayed and I only had like 20 minutes originally, but because I flight got delayed, so I actually have no connection time. And then no. luckily the gate I should connect with is just right next to my, like the, uh, the, the one I just arrived. But when I, <laughs> but I appreciate that uh, the staff there. So he, I arrived at the gate and I said, Hey, I need to get onto the the airplane plane, and he's like, "Oh, sorry, ma'am. Like, this is like we, we the gate's just just closed, like like oh. three seconds ago." And I was like, "No, I have to go back to school. I need to go back to school on time. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't know, take the like tell my my teacher I need to be upset, upset." And then he's like, "Just kidding." Oh <laughs> no, really? <laughs> yes, you did. And then and then I remember it was um, what it was yeah. like during the Chinese New Year, I guess. And then he was like, happy Chinese New Year. I was like, what? Okay, <laughs> I guess that that helps me to like, you know, relax a little bit. Like you always have the fun thing, although the beginning is not so fun, but you also <laughs> like, yeah, help. I, let's see, I still remember that experience. So I'm sure like these like music involvement uh, performances really helps the traveler to, you know, just say like, calm their um, anxiety and stress. And maybe or for other other people who don't have that, like I just enjoy. Do you have any like specific example that you see? Well, you say the body language. Do you have any specific example that you got feedback from the travelers that uh, throughout this program? Yeah, we, we got a lot of feedback. You know, the first feedback would be the crowds. You know, around the performers. 
videotaping and smiling and mm. singing along and just enjoying the, the music. Um, so that was part of it. But we also got Twitter feeds talking about our music program and how much people enjoyed it. Um, we would do guest surveys and, and the music program was one of the top things along mm -hmm. with the with the dogs. We, we brought in some, um, you know, comfort dogs uh, to uh, run the terminal. People love those, too. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for all this contribution. Yeah, I wish. OK, now I, I need to like put that in my in my um, uh, how to say that, like itinerary, like next time when I, I can see if I can transfer from the airport. Yeah. And um, Mm, do you see any like do you see any like viral on the social media afterwards like you say Twitter like I think I think I on the website I also see like please tag like on Instagram and Facebook yeah and do you like was it like a pretty trendy afterwards yeah I think so I didn't I didn't track that as closely as maybe I should have um, but our team that did that would would share stories uh, that we did get positive feedback quite on a quite regular basis. Mm. Okay. Um. Thank, thank you very much. And also, like, you, I'm not so sure about how, like, what you do in your current job position right now. But are you thinking about a similar project that you might also like put it in the current, I don't know, environment? Yeah, I don't really have that opportunity in in my current role. Um. Okay. But I'm glad to see that John Wayne Airport has continued both the the. Uh, the play, play me piano as well as the JWA live, and we have a vibrant art, or they have a vibrant art program that we started yes. many years ago. So I'm just I'm pleased that they continue to do it um, because I think it's just it's a wonderful thing for people to experience. Yes, I check their schedule for the JWA live, and then it's like every day, and then three hours, like just one people and three hours, and it was just like, and then. They also like list all of the performance information and what they like to do, what they usually perform, or where that they, they have been performed. I was like, wow, this is very thorough. Yeah. Did you get a chance to look at the the uh, lovely day video? It's a number what? of our performers. Uh, oh yeah, performing. the first one. Yeah. It, like it's the first one of the 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 on the website. I think so. Yeah, that's that was kind of a fun project. I will, I will actually check it out because I, I, I see the live stream part because I see the piano there. I was like, let me just check it out. <laughs> yeah, I will check it out later. Well, thank you very, very much for uh, the interview and then talk to me. Um, do you have any other questions you want? Wait, I'm the interviewer. But <laughs> do you have any questions for me or like anything you want to talk about or any like in, uh, feedbacks? Well, nothing comes to mind now. I just, uh, I like what you're doing and, and you should be congratulated for your efforts. Um, and you. you are making the world a better place. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you very much your time for your time and all of your experience. Like you share all experience and insights uh, to me and to our listeners. So, well, this is what we will, uh, this is the end of our interview. Um, as we conclude today's episode, I want to, um, uh, extend my profit of gratitude for joining us. So for listeners, welcome uh, welcome to uh, follow our or subscribe our, to our channel. And also you can share and stay tuned for more stories. Until next time, remember the keys to transformation are within reach, waiting to be played and shared. I'm Dr. Yiling, and I will see you next time.